I started here back in 2004 when I uh, was getting my grad assistant position at Tiffin University. I was getting my master's and it gave me the opportunity to stay around Tiffin. What I found was just a really great community and that's basically why I chose to stay. And uh, started managing the place a year later and eventually was able to own it uh, back in 2009. Well, it's always been my goal to start a restaurant. Being a college bar was tough to transition from you know, selling booze at night and then trying to sell food the next day. So it was really a matter of trying to clean it up and, you know, give Tiffin something that I, I think that they needed, which is a different option, eating option. So, you know, that's kind of how I progressed into making it a restaurant as opposed to just a bar. So the pandemic here was obviously tough on everybody, um, shutting us down for 19 weeks, I think we did. We obviously had to adapt to doing some curbside pickup and a lot more carry-out options. It wasn't our forte in the beginning, but I think we adapted well. The community really supported us in you know, buying gift cards and you know, showing us a lot of love for the to-go food. My staff was great, you know, making the transition seamlessly, you know, taking phone calls, running food out to the curb, making sure we're sanitizing everything. So it was very difficult in the beginning, but I think we transitioned well. And like I said, without the love from the community and all the support that we got from them, it wouldn't have been as good for us, but we were able to survive. Uh, now we're open back up and uh, you know, we didn't miss a beat. So I can't thank my staff and you know, the people at Tiffin enough for that help. We love to support the community because they support us. So we support all the local sports teams, the, the high schools, the colleges. We like to support them with food and gift cards and such. You know, but I will speak specifically to one of the programs that started because of COVID, and that was the Frontline Proud Initiative. Uh, a couple of our good patrons that come in here started it, and it was to help the frontline workers, the hospital workers, uh, the people that never were able to, you know, to stop working basically to make sure that our quality of life was the same. So we were able to help them selling T-shirts and giving them some money, so they were able to, you know, buy lunches for the hospitals and, you know, other frontline workers that were really. Uh, you know, working hard during this pandemic to make everything great for us. We really don't say no too, too often, you know. If we can help somebody out, we're definitely gonna try it. Obviously, I wanna thank my, you know, my family, my wife and my two kids for their support, especially through the pandemic, you know. Uh, that first day when they shut us down, you know, it was a struggle. You know, I was a little down on, down on my luck, just like everybody else, but, uh, you know, my wife really pulled me through it, um, gave me a lot of support and told me that we could do it. We just got to make some changes. We just got to, you know, keep moving forward. Obviously, my staff has been great for me throughout the years. I wouldn't be able to do anything without them. So I really want to thank them. And, you know, obviously we want to thank the community for all the support, the gift cards they buy, you know, buying the food, coming in, supporting us now that we're back open, really showing us a lot of love. I mean, that's why we do all this, you know, it's for the community and, you know, we really appreciate the support they've given us throughout the years.